In this last video we're going to show how to use Flex to simulate deformable objects and how to render them using mesh skinning. At the end we're going to show how to combine animated meshes with Flex soft bodies. First let's create the Flex soft asset. Again we need to choose a boundary mesh similar to what we did for solid objects. Let's choose an octopus mesh. In the preview you can see different colored regions. Each of these regions is called a cluster and is considered to be rigid. Each of them will drive a bone for the mesh skinning. Let's create the corresponding game object for it and let's call it Flex Soft Actor. And now let's add a component, the Flex Soft Actor component. As usual we need to define the container and the soft asset. Let's do that now. And let's adjust the transform and enable debug rendering. Let's also orient it properly. To render the octopus we can use the standard Unity Skinned Mesh Renderer. Let's add a corresponding component and let's choose the same mesh of course. Let's pick another material and let's disable debug rendering. In order to move the bones with the simulation results, we need to add a particular component called Flex Soft Skinning Component. Let's see how the skinning looks like. We can also combine soft simulation with rigged meshes. Here's a simple animated model. Our goal is to simulate the arms using flex soft actors. Let's create the flex asset. Flex soft asset and let's base it on the cylinder mesh and scale it to fit our model better here. That should work. So now let's create an empty game object. Let's call it flex right arm and add the corresponding flex soft actor component. Let's configure it as usual with the container and the flex soft asset we just created. Let's move it to the right position. Let's enable debug drawing. And let's adjust the pose. Somehow we need to attach the soft object to the shoulder of the model. We need to do two things for that. First we need to attach some particles close to the shoulder. We can do that in the view as usual with control and left mouse button. Let's just attach some particles and let's make it a bit soft by fading out. Next we need to root the game object to the right location in the rigged hierarchy so that the attachments are relative to that moving part. Okay, let's root it to the shoulder. Let's see how that looks. Now let's create the flex soft skinning component and target it at the animated mesh or cylinder here. Let's also reduce the skinning max distance so we don't deform the shoulders. Let's see how this looks. Let's disable debug rendering. Okay. Let's now copy the arm so we can have both simulated. Let's call this one flex left arm. And let's move it and rotate it. And this concludes the flex plugin videos. Thanks for watching.